Hello and thanks for joining us. A noche le Enet. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. They've got Batum. Morris is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Paul George, and it's Jackson in at the one. And for Chicago, White and Levine team up in the backcourt. Williams is out there with Daniel Tice. And it's Vucevic in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Here's White. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Kobe White with the active hands, able to start the break and generate points for his team. White against Jackson. To the paint. Here's Batum. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. And above the rim play, always captivating Steve. We should see a lot of that tonight. And Kevin, I'm so excited. You know I play under the rim, so to get a chance to watch guys play well above, I am getting my popcorn ready. Kobe White making it rain from distance. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to talk with Teron Lou for just a minute. Coach was saying that he feels Zach Levine is still underrated as a star in this league. Coach said when Levine gets going, there's just no way to stop him. He's one of the most natural scoring threats in the league. They certainly will respect Levine's explosive offense tonight. Guys? All right, thank you, David. Now here's Jackson. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. It's good, and he makes his first shot of the game. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Pass to Tice, over Morris, and Tice gets it to go. And he's not going to miss many of those, especially that wide open. And early on, if you're him, you just want to see the ball go through the net and get into some kind of rhythm. And the thing about Morris, doesn't have the big vertical, but tenacious once he gets around the rim. Vucevic against Morris. Vucevic gets double teamed. Outside Leonard. Batum dishes to George. It's good. Excellent concentration from Paul George. Overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. For three, Levine. Here's Vucevic. And it's good, but hold on. The officials may want to look at that one on the replay monitor. And indeed, they're going to look at it again. They need to be certain he beat the buzzer. And even though, you know, you're thinking maybe we don't need the replay in a situation like this, still plenty of time left in this game. And really, it's about getting the call right. A good close contest so far. Turn to the second quarter and Noche Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. Looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. You can do everything else right, but if you fail to take care of the defense of glass, you're killing your chances. Valentine and Markinen, your small and power forwards. Thomas Sadoransky is out there with Garrett Temple, and it's Young in at the five down low. That's the Bulls' five as we get into the second quarter. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. And Temple kicks to Valentine. Back to Temple. Over Kanar. Temple can't get it to go. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard attacking. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. A beast on the dribble drive. You see Kawhi right there, undeterred by contact. Now the pass to Markinen. Now here's Sadoransky. Jacks up a three. Temple controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. 55 seconds left here in the second. Kennard on the wing. Offline with his three. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Valentine. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Sadoransky. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Clippers have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. 
score it. His third straight basket in three tries. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Temple. The shot's good on the assist by Sadaransky. Temple's got five points so far. You have to be ready to receive when Sanaransky has the ball. Shows excellent vision. From 18 feet away, pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Six seconds left to play here in the second quarter. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break. Or third quarter bat. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to... It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. They didn't get more than a one possession lead in the period. And that... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You have to like what we're seeing so far from Kawhi Leonard. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And the Clippers, looking at who they've got. They've got Morris. Paul George is out there with Jackson. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. And it's Batum in at the five, roaming the paint. And it's Leonard missing. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. There's Levine. A second chance effort. Vucevic trying to get open. Williams shot is off. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Outside Williams. Pass to Vucevic. Williams dishes to White. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Levine's got the lead up to five now for the Bulls. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Daniel Tice. That is his first foul of the game. Chicago making a switch here. Aminu's checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Mann's checked in. There's Jackson with the three. Los Angeles with another miss. Chicago leading by five. And it's Aminu in the corner. Three-pointer on the way. The shot that time not on target. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. To the inside. Here's Batum. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Levine wide open. The shot's good on the assist by Vucevic. Vucevic has got three assists in the game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. George looking over the floor. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got his fifth rebound in this one. There's Williams. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play to see if he released the ball before the buzzer. And the footage relayed to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus, I, I, I think he got it off in time. The, re the replay leaving little doubt. Well, they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt, and looking at the replay, that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how... And so it's the Chicago Bulls going into the break with a 10-point lead. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And don't go away. We'll be right back. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. So many good point guards in this league. So much responsibility comes with that position. That was a smart, smart play. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. 
They've got Levine. Young is out there with Aminu. Then it's White. And it's Zadaramski in at the shooting guard position. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Chicago leading by 10. Back to Aminu. From the arc. Reggie Jackson with the rebound. The Clippers shooting 47%. Pretty solid. From deep, George. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. A reliable jump shooter, Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. Pass to White. Over Jackson. Here's Young. And he banks in the layup. Young's got his first points of the game. Relentless on the offensive glass. And then you love the finish. And George kicks to Batum. Kept alive. Goes back up on the wing, but two. Morris inside. Aminu on him, and there it is for him. Terrific score there off the miss by Morris. Doesn't get a ton of offensive rebounds, but making that one count. White against Jackson. Pass to Levine. Over George. And there's Levine on the assist by White. And the Bulls lead by nine. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. And it's really hard to knock George off his balance. He's just so long and strong. Nice take there. They get it back. Young. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. Also points count just like any others. That's a great play. Kennard for three. That is Young grabs the miss. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. And so it's Chicago winning this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they start.